Hello, welcome to Ozarks Live. We are at the brand new 14 mil market here in Nixa. Are you enjoying that? Absolutely. It's a, <laughs> it's a taster. I've, I've never tasted this before. It's so it's good. It's a pineapple cream soda, cream soda and it's yeah. really good. It <laughs> is really good. And they have multiple flavors here. You were here last weekend and you were saying you tried the vanilla and it I was, was like super good, right? Yes, I just, I tried the vanilla. I was going to try the pineapple, but like the vanilla was so good. I never mm -hmm. got past that. <laughs> yep. Okay. You know, I can understand it is delicious. that. Find something you like, stick with it. Yes. And yeah. it, if, if you've never been here, you know, and just looking, this is like a shopping center for food. <laughs> that's a great way to put it. With a bar, too. <laughs> with a bar, too, that's yes. right. Yeah, with a bar, yes. And yes. they also have a beautiful outdoor area. Um, so they've got different yard games. They'll be having local music on the weekends, which is really yes, cool. Yes, there was someone music. playing on yeah. Friday night when I was here inside, and sometimes they're going to have people playing outside. We're going to hear all about that, yes. though, because there's so many activities, I think, coming up that we need to learn all about. Yeah, yeah and also when you, when you, it's kind of on the, you know, behind the cameras, there are all the garage doors, so when it gets into the evening and you have that cool breeze, whoop, they open them up really nice. Yeah, the perfect environments to come and check out. Now, the other really cool thing about 14 Mill Market is all the food vendors located inside are local vendors. So you're not going to find these, you know, it's like drive throughs at other restaurants in Springfield or even outside of Springfield, which is really exciting. So yeah. It's kind of like if you want it, you have to come check it out here at 14 Mill, which is really cool. Yep. I've tasted some of them. A few of them have been on our show, but I cannot wait to get through this show and try all the different yes, vendors here. Yes, me too. We've got a lot of information to learn and a lot of people to meet. So Rich and Leah Callahan, owners of 14 Market, step on in with us. Okay. Scoot down here. We'll scoot down this way. Guys, thanks for um, having us out here. This is super exciting. So just tell people a little bit about 14 Mill and your guys' like story of getting here. Yeah, so 14 Mill Market is a food hall, um, and how we got here is we wanted to open up a business in, in Nixa that was community-based. Me and my wife love to travel, Leah, and, and we were at Tulsa on a trip. We, we uh, stumbled upon a food hall, and then um, the business nerds that we are, we talked about it all the way home, and that's when it started, and, and it took about two, two and a half years of planning, and here we are with the food hall in Nixa. Well, yeah. not, not only is it a food hall, but you kind of... This is a historic place, if you think about it. A lot of things will bring back memories for folks, especially who lived around here. Yeah, so it's the old feed mill. You want to talk about that? Yeah, we. Uh, this property was so well known to people who have been born and raised in Nixa for decades. Um, they knew this location as the old feed mill. And um, there were such great stories tied to it. We were really sad to have to tear the building down. Um, it was too far gone for us to right. preserve. Um, but as we talked to people, the stories started coming out. And um, so you see the Chico sticks here. This was a memory that a lot of the people that had come into the feed mill remembered being given these Chico sticks and the Dum Dum candy. So our staff is is offering those to kiddos if they would like them as they walk out. But this property was originally um, one of the first homesteads in Nixa in the late 1800s. So we believe the first hand dug well sits on the on the property. We'd oh. love in the future um, to show that off um, because it's really beautiful. Um, so the Stifler family founded this property in the late 1800s, built a cabin. Um, and then eventually uh, the feed mill was built in the late 1950s by the Wisners. And so our bar is named Wisner oh, oh, Bar right there. after um, Barney Wisner and his wife Lois uh -huh. um, that built the feed mill. And from what we have heard from people in the community is that Barney Wisner was just a fixture in Nixa. He sat on the board of the first Nixa Bank. Um, and just was an entrepreneur and just a wonderful person in business. Well, you talk about fixtures. These are fixtures, and there's history right here when you <laughs> yeah. sit down at a table. Yeah, so all of these tables are the old, the wood that came out of the old uh, original mill that was on the property. So we took all of the floor joists, ceiling joists, and we repurposed them into the tables. We welded all of the frames uh, and tried to bring as much of the mill back as we possibly could. Even though we couldn't keep the mill, we're like, at least we have some wood that's this yeah. part yeah, of the pieces of yeah. parts. See, yeah. I love that because I am one of those kids that came in all of my life and we bought our, you know, our powder for our cow, our cattle milk and, you know, the, uh, all their feed and everything. I just have so many memories here. But you also tie some of that history to some names at the bar, right? Yeah, a lot of our drinks are based off of, like, the Stifler from the originals, mm -hmm. the Mill Cat from all the Mill, mm -hmm. you know, cats here. Uh, we, have a, we have one with the honey. Um, that's coming out, that, and because we rescued a whole hive of honey, our bees, when we when we uh, first got the property, there's a huge hive in one of the walls. 
Um, so we're trying to bring back as much and keep much of the history of Nixa in the mill as possible. Yeah. We thought that was important. Yeah, I think that's really important. Now, what's also really cool is you brought in a teaser of one of the vendors yeah. here. So tell us what's here. So these are special this weekend because we're having a summer celebration with a live concert um, Saturday. And Cody from Fresh Pokey, he does a Pokey Bowl, which is a Hawaiian-style uh, sushi. Mm-hmm. But he also does these little appetizers that he just started. So he's a very creative chef. Um, and these are just three samples of what he um, had just created this week. And you'll only be able to get starting tomorrow. Wow, that's exciting. Now, you know, we're going to be talking to other people, bringing food to the table so you can see some of the things. But you also... You're looking into the future, entertainment, different things to share with people here at the mill. Yeah, we there are so many ideas. I think that's what our, our business minds just get buzzing about all of the potential. Um, we're already seeing so many people find opportunities in here for private events. Um, but going forward, we'd love to have music bingo dur- during the week, trivia nights, game nights. Um, a couple of weeks ago, we had um, a family ask if they were allowed to bring board games in. And we're like, yes. Oh. We love that this is a place for all ages. We've seen ladies outside on the patio playing bunko. So it is live music every weekend. So there are just all kinds of opportunities here for bringing people together. Yeah. 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 Lots going on here over at 14 Mill. So if people want more information, uh, first of all, remind them where you're located and then also how they can get that information online. We, we are located downtown Nixa, right off of Highway 14, kind of a, near the crossroads um, of Nixa, um, 203 East Mount Vernon Street. Um, you can find us on Instagram, TikTok, and Facebook. Um, our website is 14millmarket.com. Thanks so much for having us. We are so excited to try all this food today. All right, Ozarks Live will be right back to 14 Mill Market after this. Don't go away.